<laughs> there we go, there we go, we're live, we're live. Hey folks, welcome back, welcome back and welcome to you first timers. This is Mike at Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement in a semi-sunny Sharpsburg, Georgia on a mighty fine Monday. Ah, I got a new project in here. Yep, that's Sally in the picture there. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. After all that work, she's having to sit out in the yard today. <laughs> no big deal. But here's our new project for today. I'm not sure what year this car is. It's a Toyota something or another. <laughs> Black. And it belongs to the son of the customer last week, some of you may remember, where I restored the headlights on his old beater farm Tacoma, Toyota Tacoma truck. And the main interest here today is to restore those headlights on this car, which belongs to his son, who is away right now in the army. I've known him since he was a small kid. I've talked to him many, many times over the years, and now he is relatively grown, graduated, and off into the Army. So, he's going to get some extra special treatment here. Uh, we'll do whatever I can within this budget and the time period. Yeah, this thing's been sitting outside while he's been gone. I don't know if y'all can see all that. Man, there's all kind of stuff on the paint, on the glass. Oh, boy, oh, boy. A lot of scratches, but it's an older vehicle. I remember the day he purchased it and brought it home. <laughs> Look at that headlight. Yeah, the, the vent cowl's in bad shape. If we have time, we'll see what we can do about that to spiff it up. And it has some scratches on it. I don't know if y'all can pick those up right there or not. If we have time, we could probably buff most of those out. I don't know if y'all are picking that up. Yeah, I think you can see them there. It has a few spots like that around it. It's got some bruises and bumps. <laughs> oh, the glass is nasty. <laughs> oh, all this tree sap and everything else <laughs> industrial fallout we call it it mixes in with the rain and just floats over in the air and comes down and settles on your paint uh, this has got what we call bonded contaminants a lot of that stuff has actually now bonded to the clear coat and I'm sure some of it has actually embedded into the clear coat uh, probably won't have the time or the budget to go after the embedded contaminants no money for a coating on this car so it will most likely get a titanium sealant or a sealant of some sort you can see here the pillar post are bad 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 shape which is typical uh, look at all that scratching down there I don't know if y'all can see that holy cow that was done I think when he got the car because I remember him bringing it by and showing it to me after he first purchased it. And there's some of the typical scratching around the door handles, fingernails, some scratching. This door is all scratched up. I don't know if y'all picking that up. Oh, man. It's a shame. It's a shame. Scratching in there. <laughs> On the, <laughs> the gas cap lid. Scratching. Somebody like it. <laughs> went down through the woods in this thing at some point or through some bushes or something continues on back to right there on the mackerel but uh, I think what I'm gonna do first yeah I haven't taken the license plate off yet just got this in a few minutes ago all kind of stuff all over this paint all over it. it's a pretty good paint job other than that just being nasty of course we'll clean the wheels and tires for him as part of this deal I'm gonna get it as spiffy as I can within the budget and do what I can of course we will do the headlights oh my goodness like I say if I have time I really want to 
work on this. It just ruins the look of the whole car. And maybe do a quick topical polish on the glass. But normally, uh, normally, I would do the headlights first. But the coating I'm going to put on those after you apply it, you're not supposed to let it get wet for six hours. So I'm going to wash the car first and do all that stuff. And then I will use my car dryer to get it bone dry because you don't want the water running down onto that coating once you apply it because it will ruin it if you do. But I'm going to get started. I'm just going to get my power washer out and power my, wash as much crap off of here as I can and then I'll go on from there. Probably do a strip wash, do the wheels and tires, all that kind of stuff first. I appreciate everybody dropping by. Like, tag, subscribe, share, follow, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that stuff. All that stuff. I appreciate you folks. I do. I really do. And if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of the future videos and kind of see how this comes out. I thank y'all. Bye for now.